Wan yung hamin nida mga kanyang to my channel anong sa yot TV. Today's video it will be part of anyong chika update. Reasons that make the King Eternal Monarch is having a hard time to get higher ratings. First, how the setting changed from Republic of Korea to Kingdom of Korea. Second, story pacing or slow story pacing. Some says lack of chemistry between the two leads, Lee Min Ho and Kim Go Eun. Fourth, competition with the world of the Merlin. So the first time I watched episode one of the King Eternal Monarch, I was very confused, mga kanyong, with the story. I had to watch it twice for me to understand the story or how the story flows. How the setting changed from Republic of Korea to Kingdom of Korea is a big challenge for some of the viewers, or shall I say, for all the viewers, because as we can see on the rating, on the ratings itself, it says the word. So as we all know, the story itself is about having a parallel universe from the word parallel. It's self-explanatory, I believe. So it tells the story of two worlds having same time and almost the same locations. So where Republic of Korea exists in the kingdoms instead. Going back with the episodes, there are lots of boring moments. When they were trying to prolong the story, such as the crime scene in Republic of Korea, when Jong Taeun, Kim Gon's character, is not present on the scene. Instead of focusing with the main leads, they are providing unnecessary scenes, as for my opinion. And I believe I'm not the only one, cause as the as what we are observing, the ratings are going up and down. Episode 1, first part, got an average rating of 10.1% and 11.4% on the second part nationwide as per AGB lesson. So, uh, it's promising for a drama to have double digits on first episode. So, here we go. On the second episode, where there were lots of dull moments, or shall I say, they, there, uh, uh, there were buying some they were buying some time to get the viewers' excitement regarding Jung, Jung Taeun coming into the Kingdom of Korea. I can see mga kaanyong episode 2 first part had so much unnecessary scenes. That's why the ratings were only 8.4% on the first part and it went up to 11.6% on the second part as the story already focused on the lead actors. Episode 3 both parts the ratings were only 7.8% and 9% respectively because this episode was more focused on the personal lives of the supporting actors or supporting characters such as the police Chong Taeol colleagues also to the Prime Minister. I don't think if the Prime Minister is one of the supportings but I believe she, she is. Now moving forward on the latest two episodes, I don't know the reason. Uh, why episode 5 ratings were only 7.6% on the first part and 8.6% on the second part. Because uh, it seems the viewers got tired in watching this uh, having a story slow pace. Some viewers also criticized the poor CGI effects where in Jong Taeun and Lee Gon went into the place where time is not present inside Kingdom of Korea. So here's the scene. So, but the scene where Lee Gon fights against the Japanese invading kingdom of Korea was perfect for me. Why they did not do the scene on the scene though? Some viewers were saying the lack of chemistry between Kim Go Eun and Lee Min But I beg to disagree for that. For me, their chemistry are average, not so sweet and not so bland. So it's just an average. So one of the biggest threat as well for the King Eternal Monarch is that they are facing right now in having a high viewership is the competition with the world of the Marriott which is very popular in making history in the reading game through though it's being aired on cable channel TVN. Such a big threat with Minho and Go Eun's show 
to the point their show is being aired on free channel and one of biggest network in Korea which is the SBS so uh, those are my opinions and also I based this through the viewers opinion that I have read online so what are your thoughts about this about the show of Liming Ho which is one of the most anticipated gay Korean drama for this year as this will be the comeback drama of Lee Min Ho after he was discharged discharged from the military so that's it mga kanyo if you like this video don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button and also the notification bell beside the subscribe button for you to be updated on my upcoming videos see you on my next video Annyeong.